Hi everyone. In today's session, we will discuss about the Terra Data Space concepts. In the previous video, we discussed about the create database, create user. While creating the database and user, we have seen couple of terms like permanent space, spool space, and temporary space. For quickly recollecting those topics, I am attaching the create video, create database, and uh, create user video in the above link. We will see the space concepts now. Let me quickly open the presentation which I have prepared for this session. Terra data space concept. Now we can see types of spaces and pool space distribution versus permanent space distribution and space terminology and then we can see a small demo of how we can see these uh, this permanent space, pool space and temp space in action. A simple small demo how we can see that data in the database. So first we will go and see types of spaces. So I think we can see here three types of spaces permanent or perm space, spool space, temporary space. Permanent space is the maximum amount of the space available for the user or database to hold the data. What are all the objects that get stored in permanent space? Tables, journals, fallback tables, secondary index of tables get stored in the permanent space. Permanent space is not pre-allocated for the database or user. They are just defined as the maximum amount of the space the database or user can use. The amount of the permanent space is divided by number of amps whenever amp limit exceeds an error message is generated. See, for example, if a, for, to, a, to a database, if you give permanent space equal to 500 GB, that doesn't mean that the entire 500 GB is given to the database. The 500 GB that we are mentioning again is the permanent space is the maximum amount of the space that database or user can use. That is the meaning of it. The next one is spool space. Spool space is the unused permanent space which is used by system to keep the intermediate results of the SQL query. Users without spool space cannot execute any query. What it means? What is the spool space first in the first place? It is the unused permanent space and this space is used to store the intermediate results. Intermediate results in the sense if you are running a query you get a result set. Where this result set gets stored that gets stored in the spool space. So what that what we are telling here is users without spool space cannot execute any query. That is the reason why we are telling this. The Similar, similar to permanent space, spool space defines the maximum amount of space the user can use. Spool space is divided by the number of amps. Whenever per amp limit, ex limit exceeds, the user gets the spool space error message. Spool space is also like permanent space. Whatever the space is allocated to it, that is the maximum amount of the space. That doesn't mean that the entire space is given to that. Okay. So if, if that space limit exceeds, user will get the spool space error message. Third one is temporary space. Temp space is, the, is again unused permanent space which is used by global temporary tables. Temp space is also divided by the number of apps. Global temporary tables when we store some data, when the session is I mean expired or session is out. The data that, that is there in the global temporary tables it gets clear and the memory occupied by that particular global temporary uh, uh, table object gets released. So here we, can, we have seen three types of spaces. Now we will see how the space distribution happens in the permanent space and spool space. See here we have a permanent space distribution and Spool space distribution. As I mentioned, it is unused permanent space. Okay. So, for example, at the time of installation for the DBC, we have given one DB space, one terabyte space. 
so this db is having maximum of 1 db space and i mean in the long run if you go and create uh, one more database and uh, underneath that if you create one more database so how this permanent space gets distributed this gets directed from the one db so see the second example sys dba is with 500 gb and if you create another db it this also occup this this is also is assigned with this also is assigned with 500 gb now sys dba is having 500 gb and hr is having 500 gb after after some days again you have created employee under hr so now this 500 gb is become 300 gb and 200 gb the whole distribution is it is gets deducted from the 1 db so now it is 500 gb 300 gb 200 gb if you create one more 100 gb this gets deducted this, this becomes 100 and this becomes 100 so like that it gets distributed in the spool space it can use up to 1 db spool so here you created sys dba and under uh, under dba you have created hra hr and then payroll and the sales and marketing but the maximum spool space remains 1 db here it is not deducted or it is not minus anything from uh, the 1 db here so this is how it gets distributed here and the next thing is space terminology we have max perm current perm peak perm for permanent space for spool space max spool current spool peak spool same kind of terminology is used for temporary space also max temp current temp peak temp what it means actually max max perm or max spool or max temp means the maximum number of bytes available for storing the objects and current perm or current spool or temp the total number of bytes in use with already stored objects meaning for example your database is having 10 tables those 10 tables will occupy some amount of space that space is called current space and the peak space is like I mean you started in January and your database is growing by the month of March it will go up to 50 GB you started with 10 GB uh, I mean your database initially was in 10 GB and it's gradually growed and it reached 50 GB at the end of the March what you did is you deleted all the unwanted data closely worth of 30 GB so your current temp space becomes 20 GB so what is the peak what is the maximum space that you utilize you utilized between January and March that is the 50 GB that is called peak perm peak perm or peak spool or peak temp so the largest number of bytes actually use it to store data in this user since value was last reset okay so what are all the terms that we what are all the space terminologies that we have seen here max current and peak okay now we will have a small demo and we'll see how much of the max perm or current perm or peak perm the database is uh, having all that stuff we will see in the small demo let me quickly open i mean that query also i mentioned in the last slide i just wanted to show you here disk space query there is one table called disk space we can give the database name as a filter and it will return all this stuff so i will show you the same thing in the teradata studio let me open the studio and just copy this stuff here if you don't mention on the database name it will give you the full bunch so now what i am going to do is my td works so, 
get this connected. Let me just try that. So, this is my database name. It says my Zoom Pearl, my Zoom Spool, my Zoom Temp, current, current Pearl, current Spool, current Temp, peak Pearl, peak Spool, peak Temp. So, whatever the terminology that I have explained you in the slide there, you can see all that stuff in action here that is there in this particular table. So if you just give select star from space, you get so much of data. There are so many unwanted fields also. I don't want to I mean show all that stuff. So I just uh, created a meaningful query where we get only the required info. Yeah, I think I've covered all the topics related to space. Hope you like this content. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to my channel. We have a lot of content in the pipeline. We are going to release soon. If you like the content, please hit the like button and share your comments share the video also with your friends thank you